This video is going to explain how to use determinants in, uh, inside of inverses for matrices. We're going to look at how to do a 2 by 2 matrix, and then we're going to talk about the 3 by 3. On the screen, you can see the formula that we have for finding a determinant of a 2 by 2. Uh, that is listed here, just this piece. It's the AD minus BC, right? So if we started out with a particular matrix A, you can see that listed right here. If this, if this is the order of the matrix, then when we go to find the determinant, it is simply the product of the diagonals, and you're going to subtract them. For example, in number one, if I want to find the determinant of this uh, matrix, it's going to be negative 5 times 3 minus negative 5 times negative 1. Be very careful about the negative signs inside the formula. The, the subtraction sign is built in. So that part is already there. So if you have negative values, I tend to write it out so that I don't kind of go too fast and, and mess up. So we have negative 15 minus positive 5, because negative 5 times negative 1, which gives me a negative 20 as my determinant. All right, there's nothing more to that. It's that straightforward with a 2 by 2 determinant, super simple. A 3 by 3 determinant is a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to demonstrate that with question number four. When you have a 3 by 3 determinant, uh, this is one of those things you're going to have to do by hand on, on the test or quizzes. You're going to have to do this uh, using what we call the lattice method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the first two columns right next to the matrix like this. Negative 2, 4, 1, negative 4, negative three, and one again. It must be the first two columns, and it must be in the same order. So make sure not to mess them up or rearrange them in any way. I'm going to multiply down, and we're gonna do this in a couple of different uh, steps. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the order that we're going to do them. We're gonna start at the very first, uh, first one. We're gonna create a little lattice pattern. So I'm going to kind of walk my way down from the very top corner all the way down as a diagonal, right? The way we, the, the reason we wrote this out here is to make our multiplication process just a lot easier. And so we're going to be adding together each of these row mul uh, products, and it'll look like this. We're going to say negative 2 times negative 3 times 1 plus negative 4 times negative 2, times positive 1, then plus again 4 times 4 times 1. Going the other direction, we are going to create another matrix, uh, or not matrix, another lattice pattern, which is going to be going up. This time we're going to be subtracting each one of these products. So we're going to say minus, then we're going to do the product up. Minus 1 times negative 3 times 4. Minus, there again, 1 times negative 2 times negative 2 minus 1 times 4 times negative 4. At first, that might look a little confusing, but I think once you go over it a few times, uh, the pattern tends to kind of take shape, and you can kind of keep it going. Now, the next step is just to simply multiply it all together and add it up. So here we're going to have 6 plus 8 plus 16. Then we're going to have minus a negative 12. This going to be plus 12. And then minus 4. Be careful about your negative signs here. And then minus negative 16. So plus 16. At this point, we're going to be adding all of this together. Uh, this part, whether I'm using a calculator or I'm doing it by hand, um, that's not really important. What is important here is that you actually write out the pieces that I've just written out. I will be looking for this work on your test and on any quiz that's not multiple choice. You will have to show me that you can demonstrate this product and in the, in adding them up. The answer here would be 54. So what you're looking at for question number four is exactly what I would look for in terms of showing your work on a test. The determinant is one of the longest processes. That, as well as finding the inverse uh, using with inside of matrix equations, which we'll get to at a later date. But this is the determinant of a 3 by 3, right? It's the determinant of a 3 by 3.
3. That is important. Um, that is something that you need to be able to do in all ways. Now, we have two other things to talk about, and those are called inverses. Okay, So you can see here the inverse formula. Is, if we start with matrix A, right? this is what we have. Then to find the inverse, I need the determinant, and it goes here. Okay, something about the invert or about the determinant. If the determinant is equal to zero, zero, then no inverse exists. Right? The first thing we're going to do every time we find an inverse for a 2 by 2 is to do this part first. If this number is 0, stop, there is no inverse. Right? The other part is a matrix that's based on this one. It's rearranged a little bit. If you notice, we've swapped A and D, and we've taken whatever number is in C and B, and we have changed their signs to be the opposite of whatever they were to start with. Let's try this using number 7. Okay, so I'm going to find the determinant first. So it's going to be 3 times 7 minus negative 8 times negative 3. So we have 21 minus 24. So negative 3 is my inverse. So the inverse of a matrix looks like this. 1 over the determinant. I'm following that formula that you wrote down already. So look along. I'm going to rearrange the, the uh, top numbers here. We're going to switch the 3 and the 7 to be the values down below. 7 goes here and 3 goes there. And switch the signs of the other 2. So positive 8 and positive 3. The next part is to multiply through and change the signs. Or multiply through and get the fractions. It's going to be negative 7 thirds, negative 1, negative 8 thirds, and negative 1 again. And this is my inverse. Sometimes you will see an answer choice maybe in multiple choice questions where the answer looks like this. You could also see it looking like this. So be careful. Um, usually if I ask you to do it by hand, I'm going to expect you to take it all the way out and then reduce any fractions that you have. The other part of this is to do a determinant of a 3 by 3. With the 3 by 3 determinants, I'm sorry, 3 by 3 inverses, you're going to have to do this in your calculator. Okay, uh, If you have a TI-84 or if you have uh, a TI-36 Pro, I think that's or one of the versions of the Pro, then you will have the ability to do this in your calculator. Um, if you don't, I'm going to put a link below this video um, in, in, in Canvas where you can click on uh, the Desmos calculator for matrices. It'll do everything you needed to do. You can tell it how big the matrix is, um, how big the numbers are that need to go in. Like this, obviously, we're dealing with 3 by 3s right here. And, and we really won't be dealing with anything other than 3 by 3s and 2 by 2s. I'm not going to ask you to find an inverse by hand. I will ask you to do it with technology. Okay. So if you have a TI-84, uh, the things that you're going to do is kind of write the keystrokes down to do the inverse for 3 by 3. Right? It's going to simply, uh, it's actually quite simple to do. You just need to know where all of your matrices things are. So to get to the matrix menu, you're going to press a few things. Okay, It's second, and you're going to press the matrix button. Right? Technically, that is the x to the negative 1 button, but it's the second version. You'll see the word matrix in blue. Okay, Then you're going to see three things. If you, if you get into the matrix menu, you see names, you see math, and then you see edit. So the thing that you want to do first is edit. Okay. If you scroll over to the right twice and hit enter on edit, it's going to ask you for the dimensions, right? The row by columns. You will tell it how big you want it to be. If it's 3 by 3, you'll hit 3, enter, 3, enter. Then it goes down into your matrix, and you will simply enter all the numbers that you, you have in your matrix, however big it is.
and it goes across in rows. When you finish with that, you will hit second and quit. Quit is the button just next to second, and that's up in the top left corner. Okay, that's what I do first. Once I'm done with that, it depends on what I want to do. If I want to find the determinant, you'll find that under math, DET and parentheses. Okay, if you go over to math, if you hit second, uh, quit, get out of your matrix, and then hit go back second matrix again. If you go over to math, you're going to find the very first thing, DET. Right? So the first thing I do is select that, and it's going to take me back to my home screen. The next part, I'm going to have to go back to second matrix again. And then we're going to choose whichever matrix we are working with. I'm going to just assume you typed it in A. And on your calculator screen, you're going to see DET, parentheses, A, and you hit enter. And it will give you the determinant of whatever matrix you wanted. Okay? No matter how big or how small it is. Okay? Um, to do that, you, when you chose this part, it's actually underneath names. Okay? Um, I'll go back in. I'll hit second matrix again. Then we hit enter under names, and that will choose the matrix that I want to work with. And then that way I can do that. Okay, so that's how we can do the determinants. The other thing I want to do is I want to do an inverse. Now, whether it's 2 by 2, 3 by 3, or 20 by 20, I can create an inverse. The way that you do the inverses, To do an inverse, I have to first of all, I have to edit, edit the correct matrix, and then we're going to select matrix, whichever matrix, I'm going to just pick A. We'll select A by putting it, that's where you're going to be inside the names, go into to that, select A. And then you're going to do, so on your home screen you're going to see just the matrix A sitting there, and you're going to hit the X to the negative 1 button. Right? And that's going to give you an exponent of negative 1. Right? Negative 1, that is actually the button you keep pressing for matrix, but this time don't hit second. It's just the, the x to the negative 1 button. Okay? The next part, it's going to have on your calculator screen the, D, the A, matrix A to the negative 1 power. We want to in input one other thing. We will also want to input the math to fraction button, because if I have decimals, I really don't want decimals. So when you do this, you're going to press math, and then enter, and enter. What that's going to bring up, you're going to have this on your screen. So it'll say, let me pull it up real quick. You're going to have a to the negative 1. It'll look like this. You have a matrix A. You have it to the negative 1 power. And then you're going to have this arrow like this, and it's going to say, if you've done, if you see this on your screen, when you hit enter, it's going to give you the inverse of the matrix that you have put into A in terms of fractions. You'll get this big matrix, and it'll have all these, these numbers in it, right? Whatever. And that's how you're going to do it. That's kind of a lot. And if you don't have one of these calculators, then how are you supposed to do it? Um, well, number one, if you don't have one, you can check that link out for Desmos. It's actually a lot easier to work with. So if you have one of these calculators and you don't find that very easy to follow, you can use the same calculator. You'll put input your calculator size, you'll put the numbers inside it, and you'll either tell it, oh, find the determinant, or find the inverse, a, a to the negative 1. There's going to be a lot of other things you can do too, but you don't need to worry about that. Okay? If that was confusing, you can email me. I would be happy to, to maybe have a Google Meet with you and, and kind of set it up and kind of show you what it is. Uh, but I think a lot of it you can just figure out. You probably could Google something too uh, or on YouTube. But uh, let me know if this was way too confusing. But the 3x3 three three determinant or inverses you see here, these are intended to be done in the calculator only. The inverse uh, formula is quite complex and we really won't be studying it. So I hope that helped. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As of right now, what you want to be able to do with matrices, number one, you want to be able to add, subtract, multiply with scalars, multiply the matrices together, uh, find their determinants for the 2x2 two two and 3x3, three three, find a 2x2 two two inverse by hand or by calculator, 
then find the inverse of a 3 by 3 just with the calculator functions described here or with the calculator link that I provided below. Have a great day. If this was a little confusing, let me know.